comprising a role of Santa Claus is a very complicated, uh, uh, encourages a re complicated response. My wife said, you do remember what it was like getting in that makeup, but at one point it was, the worst, it was three hours, 46 minutes, not that I was counting, and about two hours out of it. We start 16 years later. Um, they have a little bit, you know, they have a family. They're in their lives at the North Pole. Um, but something's not quite right, you know? Like, there's that thought, like, are we too old for this, you know? So the idea is, is that we try to live a normal life, and hilarity ensues. Better now? No. Give me my reading glasses, where are they? They're on your face. Working with my dad was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And I actually started out auditioning for an elf, and then they called me back, and they really liked me, and then I met the directors and the producers and the writers, and then I got the part. Like, the first day on set, I was just like, oh my god, I couldn't stop jumping around. I was like a little kid again. I was just having so much fun, and the, the magic that my dad brought to the set was incredible. It's like we're kismet. It looks like it was supposed to happen, and there's nothing like it. There's, I can't describe the calmness, the humility, the gratefulness, the love I have for her, and then she's right there doing it, and I'm acting with her. I had my arm around her, consoling her, as Sandra and Santa's consoling Sandra. I'm looking at my kid. There's no way you can't connect. I grew up watching these films, so to be in these films and be the son of Santa Claus is just, I can't put it into words. And I mean, the first time I saw him on set, when he was wearing all the Santa Claus stuff, I was completely at a loss for words. I stuck, my, my foot was in my mouth, and that was because that was the first time I'd seen Tim on set either. And he just looks at me and he goes, hey son. I put my foot in my mouth again and I just went, Hey, Pops! And I shook his hand, and that was the first thing I ever said to him, because I just couldn't believe what was happening. Tyler Wilson, disruptive in the classroom. Naughty. Betty's a very assertive, um, very lacking in a sense of humor, but she's very motivated in making sure Christmas stays alive. So she's kind of the one who, she's kind of the brains behind the whole business. Noel is Santa's best friend, Santa Scott's best friend. He's happy, fun-loving, energetic, but also he has a bit of a, he's smart, he's witty. What is it like to work with Tim Allen? Well, your stomach hurts because you laugh most of the time, pretty much all of the time. Um, he is kind and loyal and funny. <laughs> and, and I found working together again so easy. The Santa Claus is perfectly captures the holiday spirit because it's bright, it's fun, and ultimately it's hopeful. So no matter what kind of a year you've had or what kind of a holiday season you're having, we all want that idea of hope and something that might be better in the year to come. And this is a chance to spend six episodes with that kind of content and that kind of love. I hope people watch this, number one, get laughs out of it, get joy out of it, sit with their families, People have told us in what I've listened to about Santa Claus 1, it was simple and wonderful and it, it hits you on so many different levels. That's what I want this. I want you to laugh, get emotional, and then mindful.